project. So this project is about to propose a uh, kerja-kerja membina pembunuh jenis photo frame. The purpose of this project is to make plans, assign resources to tasks, track progress, manage budgets, and analyze workloads. The estimated period for this project is about 44 weeks, and the total amount of tender for this project is 1,300,080,570 ringgit. The organizational chart. So this is our organizational chart for our group. So, uh, so next is the objective of the project. The objective of the project is to develop a project work program using Microsoft Project and to provide BQ for the selected project. So this is our scope of project. Uh, the, the location of the project will be situated in a residential neighborhood that is well linked to the city's core business district. And uh, this project may be accomplished by the developing a contract which involves in the start, completion and progress of a project. As indicated in the diagram below, the flow procedure must be followed in order to deliver and conclude the best for this project. The first phase in carrying out this project is to organize a 5% group. The project then moves on to create a company by supplying some background information, such as the company history, organization structure, and so on. The initial step is to determine information such as the work breakdown structure, WBS, working time, and a project length estimate. This data is used to create a Gantt chart in Microsoft project software that despite the project's overall flow. This project was conducted in three phases, which are the planning of the project, Microsoft project execution, and the completion of the report. During the planning phase, we conducted a meeting using Google Meet where we discussed on how we could complete this project and discrete work fairly among the group members. During the software education, we proceed carefully to avoid any mistake while watching all the YouTube videos created by Puan Siti Khadija binti Yaman. Lastly, we proceed with the report computation according to the task distributed in the planning phase and recorded the video. Breakdown structure. This WBS can be divided into two categories, either the WBS in outline method or WBS in hierarchy method. But for our project, we focus uh, outline method. And this is our uh, WBS structure that consists of four levels. Okay, the first level is the scope, and the second level is the preliminaries, and third level consists of water frame structure, roofing and walling, and also other related works, and provisional sum. And the fourth level will straight to the project finish or handover of the project. And working time information also is needed in the constructing of the gun chart. And the gun chart is a list of activities displays on a time scale that consists of start and finish dates of each activity. And this is the finalized gun chart that consists of four level work breakdown Now I will structure. present how we manage our resources in this project. This table shows the resource distribution according to the task. The quantity for each task were identified from the bills of quantity. This table shows the maximum available resources for the entire project. All these resources could be included during the resource distribution. The production rate will assume in this project since it is not included in the bills of quantity where we use examples in the YouTube video and from other references in Google. Two methods were used to estimate the duration which is the production rate calculation and expert judgment. We received some guidance from a J44 JKR engineer and from a project engineer in a private company. Since the project due early than the proposed due, the frost tracking method were used in order to extend the project planning to match the proposed due by lagging the time for certain tasks. We use the crashing method where we decrease the number of resources used throughout the completion of the project. S curve and discussion. The scheduling allows us to determine the critical path of the project. We managed to get a closer project end date, which is 5th October 2018. The blue line represents the physical S curve, while the red line represents the financial S curve. Comparing both curves, the physical curve shows a much better strength than the financial curve. Of quantity. Uh, a preliminary preliminaries. It contains generic information such as insurance, CIDB, equipment for authority involved, progress report, and work program. For B, portal frame structure system. Uh, contractor has to be prepared the drawing and design they have must endorsed by the PE. C. Roofing and walling. Uh, it contains roofing and 
roofing cladding, screw sheet fastener, the floor apron and bricks, the floor finishing and the concrete work that is involved in the floor finishing. For E, the other works, it represents for drainage work or the excavation. F, the mechanical and electrical. The system specification has to be endorsed by the PE and the testing has three, which is wiring, continuous and grounding. G, provisional sound. Uh, is for SI work and attention work. To conclude that our project work program is successful as the requirements were fulfilled while constructing the schedule, content and S curve using the Microsoft project software. While completing this project, we gained a lot of new knowledge and we hope that our faculty will continue to expose these kinds of evaluations as it is beneficial for the students since having the ability to perform this software completely is demanding in the pursuit of employment.